All right, moving on to a, to a tough story uh, for me personally. Look, Richie Incognito came into our office and he co-hosted TMZ Sports a couple of weeks ago and super nice. Could not have been a nicer guy. He was uh, calm, cool, collected, very respectful. Um, but he, is, he was arrested yesterday in Arizona for another bizarre incident where he allegedly got violent. He threatened staff at a funeral home. Uh, he had guns in his car, including a silencer. It's a very disturbing situation. Why a funeral home? But you know, we have we have an obligation to tell the story, so we're going to. Richie Incognito's father passed away la over the weekend. Uh, he went back to Arizona. He was there. His father passed away, and when he passed away, he went to the funeral home to kind of uh, you know handle the things that you do when your father passes right. away. But while he was in the funeral home, according to the police report, he got very violent. He started yelling at staff. There was one staff member who said he was uh, being co incoherent and rambling and asking, making bizarre requests. One person said that he had asked the staff to uh, remove his father's head so they can keep it for research purposes, like Ted Williams. Another person said that he was punching caskets and slamming urns and threatening uh, staffers by making gun motions with his finger and talking about he had guns in his car. When cops came, they arrested him at gunpoint, ordered him on the ground. They searched his car. They found multiple rifles and handguns and a silencer. He was arrested. He was booked. He had a mug shot you're looking at it right there uh and now i mean he's in serious trouble but to me the most disturbing part was the way they described his mindset erratic incoherent it's kind of similar to the incident that happened in may when he was arrested at a gym in florida and it was a similar thing people were saying that he was acting in a bizarre manner there he wasn't making sense here's the most peculiar thing about this to me when we had richie in here he was incredibly lucid uh clear um Completely. Uh, articulate like yeah. very very warm yeah uh even even talk to everybody. Yeah. And so what you thought was that the incident that happened back in May was either a blip or something that Richie Incognito had moved past. Right. And, and really meeting him and speaking with him, I felt confident that that was the case. Now that something like this has happened again, you have to wonder about whether or not he vacillates from being in control of his emotions and his anger and his right. temper to not all the time and more help is actually needed. Look, Richie Cognito played in the NFL for 13 seasons. He was an offensive lineman. Those guys bang heads every play. Mm, I know where you're going with Those this. guys, it's it's a violent job being an offensive lineman in the NFL. He was damn good at it too. Four yeah. Pro Bowls. Uh, I know he had incidents, uh, the one with Jonathan Martin, the bullying scandal, all that stuff in the past. Um, but when you talk to him about that and those incidents, again, he was he's lucid, he, he understands it, he accepts it, he, he knows what he's talking about. Um, but I think, for me, when you see these things over and over again, the incident in my, in May, he was put on a psychiatric hold for evaluation. On this one, I would imagine, based on the police report, that they are going to evaluate him again. And I hope, and I, we know that his family uh, bonded him out of jail. I hope that his family sits down with him and really tries to figure out ways to help him because this is not a healthy way to live your life uh, this way. And if something is wrong, if he has uh, some kind of uh, situation that needs medical attention, I hope that they find that for him because he seems like a really nice guy and I hope he gets the help that he needs. If you like what you just saw, videos, great stories, and crazy photos, we've got more like it every single night on TMZ Sports on FS1.